be out and about today. Speaking of which, it sounds like it'll be good to be out earlier rather than later, right? That's right. Our best beach time, of course, coming in earlier with the best chance of rain later on today. So, yes, best beach time first thing this morning. And, you know, happy September, everybody. And, of course, we're protecting our wildlife. We're protecting our sea turtles, of course. One other thing, Nick did a great job there uh, for the beachfront facing condos or homes. A lot of folks draw their blinds at night. They close them so that light doesn't get out on the beach to confuse those little sea turtles as well. So another tip for you. But let's take a look behind me this looks very ominous doesn't it? you think of September you're saying oh my goodness here we go again but the good news is as we start this September things are so quiet it's the quietest start to September in the tropics in the Atlantic Basin since 2013 and as we look at our graph Yes, we're heading to the peak. We're 10 days from the peak of hurricane season, so we're almost up that big mountain of tropical cyclones, so to speak. And this is the time of year where we see the warmest water in the Atlantic, usually the weakest wind shear, and that really tends to feed these developing systems. But look what we have on the map now. The latest from the National Hurricane Center this morning, still no name storm, which hasn't happened since 2013. In fact, the system out toward Africa is now a 0% chance of developing. Pretty amazing. OK, and also we're watching areas off the coast of Texas, Louisiana, a very small chance of development there. The big one we're watching and not so big right now, a very disorganized area of showers in the open Atlantic heading toward areas of Barbados, OK, and the Windward Islands, and then eventually the Caribbean this week. And it's now down to a 40 percent chance of development over the next seven days. So not quite as bullish as yesterday. And what's happening is we're still not in a La Nina pattern. That was the pattern we were supposed to be in by now when you heard about the historic forecast. So uh, we're still transitioning into that. And as a result, yeah, we've seen fewer storms and lots of wind shear. In fact, as we start September, this is very unusual. Look at our wind shear chart here. You see the greens and the blues. And that tends to tear developing systems apart, no matter how warm the water is. Also, we have a ridge of high pressure developing this week in the Gulf of Mexico. So anything that does develop in the Caribbean, if it does develop, would push it a little farther south, okay, toward the land areas, which would again